the charts are a variation on the traditional bar chart and were created by Stephen Few. Bullet charts are a great option for showing progress to a target with a clean design. In this video, I'll show you how to create a bullet chart in Excel. To create a bullet chart, make sure your data has the actual or current data in one column and the target data in another. Highlight the data you want to include in the chart, click Insert, and select the clustered column option from the chart menu. When you do this, both actual and target values are displayed as columns. We need to change the chart type to begin creating the bullet chart. To do this, right-click on the chart and select Change Chart Type. Choose the Combo Chart option. Here's where you will tell Excel what types of charts you want to use for each data series. Choose Clustered Column for the actual data series and a line chart for the target series. Then click OK. We're going to transform the line chart into markers to show the target values. Click on the line, right-click, and select Format Data Series. Click on the Paint Bucket icon. This is where you are able to make changes to the color and width of the line in the chart. This is also where you can format the markers on your line chart. The markers are the element of the chart that mark the data. Click Marker Options and then expand the Marker Options menu. Select Built-in and choose the Horizontal Line option as Type. Notice that you can't really see the markers. You need to adjust the size so they show up nicely in the chart. In the same Marker Options menu, increase the size. There's no perfect size to choose. I usually just increase the size until the marker is the same width as the bars in my chart. For the bullet chart, you want to just leave the markers, so our next step is to get rid of the line. In the same menu, click on the Line Option menu. Choose No Line. Now you have a basic bullet chart that you can continue to modify. Let's get away from the default Excel colors of blue and orange. To change the color of the markers, click on one of the target markers. Notice that all of the markers now have small blue dots around them, indicating that they are selected. Right-click and change the fill color to black. You can also change the color of the bars in the same way. Click on a bar, make sure they're all selected, right-click and change the bar color. I like to work with my charts pushed to gray so I can go in and add a highlighting. Now I want to add some labeling to make sure that my audience knows what part of the chart represents the target and actual values. Click on the target value all the way on the right. Click again to only select that marker. Right-click and choose Add Data Label. The value for that marker is displayed. Instead of the value, I want my audience to know that each of those black markers represents the target value. For that, I need to modify the information that is shown in my data label. Click on the label, not the marker, but the label, and click again and make sure that the label is surrounded by white dots. Then right-click and select Format Data Label. Right now, the options for value and show leader lines are selected for my label options. For target to show, we need to select series. Now the word target is next to that marker. Do the same thing with the bars. Click and select the bar on the right of the chart. Right click and add a data label. Same as with the target, the value for that bar will appear. To change what is in the label, click on the label twice, checking to make sure that the white dots appear. Right-click and select Format Data Label. Unclick Value and Show Leader Lines, and then select Series. Now the word Actual appears. Reposition the label so that it's outside the bar. Resize the chart if needed, and remove unnecessary elements, such as the title and the now redundant legend. Thanks for watching the basics to making a bullet chart. Be sure that you're highlighting the important information and making your chart clear for your audience to consume. 